Hi, this is Kyle with Kirksville Web Design. Today we're going to talk about how to plan an intranet with Google Sites. Now let's start here with the preliminary brainstorming that goes on prior to starting uh, your intranet. So like a lot of things, this uh, brainstorming is going to start with questions. And that's why often a lot of times we're starting out uh, our clients with a questionnaire or a survey to kind of get their ideas all together on one document. And this can be shared, you know, with one person or a team or sort of the, the brain trust or the content managers, whoever's going to be using the site or planning and managing this project going forward. So this is the questionnaire that, that we use. It has how many questions? About nine, yeah, nine questions. Pretty straightforward. Uh, cutting to really the, the, the questions that need to, be, need to be answered for the internet to be built. For example, you know, what is your organization's mission? What are the goals and objectives uh, of this internet? And thinking beyond that, it's, it's, it's about what your vision is uh, for the internet. You know, is this internet, is this a dashboard? Is this internet going to be like a hub of resources and documents? Is this internet going to be more uh, dynamic? Is it going to contain news and multiple departments? Or is it is it a company internet or is it a team site? You know, you have to think about the, uh, the vision or the main objectives of, of your internet. Also thinking about questions like what is your audience? How big is it? Is it company wide? Uh, also concerning your, your audience, you know, who are your end users? Are they tech savvy? Like these types of questions. So this is why the survey is really beneficial. Just kind of get the ball rolling and kind of start collecting all this information together. It's uh, this knowledge about building the intranet. If you have an intranet already, what is it doing right? What is it doing wrong? Uh, what are its features? What are its most used features? You know, what isn't being used? What's obsolete? What can we cut or what can we add? You know, this is all about sort of re you know, re-envisioning and redesigning the internet if, if it's a new, uh, if it's a project like that. And then in general, just think about like timeline and budget. So what's your, what's your budget for the project? You know, are you trying to build a, a hundred page company intranet for you know five hundred dollars is that is that reasonable <laughs> or are you building a small team site do you have a, a more a realistic uh, a budget and then in timing you know when are you trying to complete this you know uh, oftentimes it's say less than a month for most for most projects um, but if it's massive you know it's looking at many months of, of development and, and iteration so those are also things to be planning for and keeping in mind and just have goals and milestones and also these kind of like planning for timeline and budget and um, also keeping in mind the content managers and, and who's involved uh, in the project and who's going to be maintaining it going forward. That's also kind of part of the brainstorming and planning process because really they can start from the ground floor um, with building and developing the internet. So how do you build a Google Sites intranet? Uh, I think it comes down to, in my mind, three uh, facets, three pillars of intranet building. There's the aesthetic, there's the organization, and there is the function. So one, two, three, aesthetic, organization, function. And I'm gonna go into detail about each of these three pillars of building an intranet, whether it's on Google Sites or any platform, these are what you want to keep in mind. Um, so let's start first with the, the first pillar of how to build a Google Sites intranet is the aesthetic. So starting with aesthetic, you're starting about look and feel. You're starting to think about branding. And so, you know, is it going to look like this, uh, conservative and clean, or is it going to be more uh, striking? Is it going to be more of a dashboard? Going back to the kind of planning section we were talking about before. So each of these three sites, completely different look and feel, uh, and also kind of different approaches as well. And so aesthetic is gonna boil down to uh, what I'd like to be given to me as like the developer is uh, branding guidelines. And branding guidelines just give us, you know, colors and fonts and 
well, guidelines, style guidelines from the, from the get-go on how to build uh, the intranet theme. So it's going to be a custom branded theme that's going to fit these guidelines. And it's going to be part of uh, your organization uh, culture. And we want it to be uh, well adopted and engaging and professional looking. So starting with that kind of aesthetic approach is important. So whether you want to get marketing or IT involved, it's up to uh, the steering you know, committee or the team that's involved. Whether they want to provide what kind of guidance they want to give, mock-ups or wireframes, or if they're just going to give like inspiration, you know, they're going to say, you know, this is our public website, uh, we love it, you know, design something with the branding guidelines in mind or with this particular web property in mind, you know, stick with this sort of vein that we're in. And so that can be the aesthetic direction that I, as like a web designer, am looking for, and that will help you in uh, designing and developing this intranet uh, quickly because everything is built on the theme. Everything is built on this custom template. So once you get that uh, settled, then you can move on to bigger and greater things. So what's next and f as far as our three pillars? It was organization. So organization, you know, we're going to be looking at uh, the site map. And this is, you know, one example of uh, how you can start planning a, a site map, whether it's a mind map, whether it's a diagram, you know, a strict diagram like this. Uh, it could be just be a bulleted list, essentially, um, of what web pages are going to be built and where. So, you know, start thinking about in terms of like the navigation, what's going to be the top nav, what's going to be the drop down items after that, what's going to be, so that's first level, secondary level, is there going to, do we need a third level? Do we need tertiary level pages? Are people going to be digging in that deep? Uh, I think this is kind of just outlining mostly just the top level and sub sub page uh, level uh, sort of development. And that's uh, you know a typical approach. We can do third level, but then it starts to get uh, pretty nitty gritty and pretty finely detailed, and people may stop uh, being able to find certain things. So that's uh, organization. You can use different applications, sheets, docs, Lucid, charts, any sort of mind mapping application or diagramming application, whatever you like to sort of help you plan for the organization of the site. A third of our pillars is function. So function is how is it going to work? Oh, here was another site map that I kind of, uh, this is a Google Sheets, so pretty easy Google Sheet sort of approach to top level sub page, sub sub page would be that tertiary we were talking about. Okay, sorry, back to the, the third level ideas here. Uh, function, so what does this intranet you know, need to do? Does it need social media? Does it need news? Does it need uh, forms? So any sort of like widget that you're thinking of that is interactive in some sort of way. So think of it in terms of widget. What widgets or functions do we need on the intranet? And what is essential? Uh, what are required? And what is just kind of a wish list of, oh, that would be nice, you know, if we had world clocks right here, you know, to see what time it is in LA and Hamburg and Tokyo. You know, that's sort of a, a wish list, sort of uh, an item. But overall, you're thinking about, you know, how are people interacting with it and what widgets uh, maybe need to be used. So, you know, do we need org charts? Do we need directories uh, and what applications, you know, I can recommend applications to be used uh, for these particular uh, widgets for a directory, for example, or any data-driven and dynamic components uh, make recommendations uh, for those, whether they're from the Google ecosystem, Google uh, Apps Suite or work, Workspace Suite, uh, whether we can use that or we have to bring in some sort of a third party application to, to fill that need. You know, we'll determine that. So that is, those are the three pillars. Let's just recap those aesthetic organization and function. And so that's, that's how we you know, plan for, for an intranet and plan for a wiki or a team site or whatever it's being designed. It boils down uh, to that, those three pillars the sort of brainstorming and collaboration that's going to uh, take place. And it, it's, a, it's a fun thing, you know, to collaborate on this type of project and bring teams together, bring information in, 
and to build uh, you know, an intranet that's going to be valued by the organization that it's used for. That, that's my, my video on how to plan an intranet with Google Sites. Thanks for tuning in.